Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this one I'm gonna be reacting to the Bulgarian entry to Eurovision 2021. Last year, Bulgaria was one of my top fives. The question is, can they do it again? There was a very specific sound that Victoria had that really pulled me in and I am curious to see if she can do it again. I also know that she released a bunch of songs and I'm guessing the fan voted for the best act. I tried not to listen to them because I don't want to spoil it for myself. Although I will admit I heard one of the songs, it was Ugly Cry, I think the name of the song. Apparently that's not the one that was picked anyway. So for this song, this is a first reaction. I've never watched the video, I've never listened to the song. Honestly, I'm expecting nothing else than another ballad. Something very personal probably. Hopefully this will do as well as Tears Getting Sober. Although that bar was pretty high, so I don't know. The name of the song this year is Growing Up Is Getting Old. I mean, that is true on two different levels. Oh, you don't have to remind us that. I think this is another artist that feels hurt by the fire was cancelled when she had such a good song. Let it go, Victoria. Let it go. Let it go. I mean, her voice is her voice. You can't take that away from her. It's gonna be remembering the times. That's sweet. This is that sound that I was talking about. Like very soft, sweet, with like some choir in the background. I love her voice. I don't think this one is as strong of a message as last year. Last year was a little bit more dramatic and personal. I mean, this is still kind of sad. Even these voices, I'm not sure if it's just her with multiple voices, the ones that you hear in the background, they're the same ones as from Tears Getting Sober. I like the melody of this one too. Also, Bulgaria did not change a lot. They were trying to do the same. It's very musical. I also want to hear her live. Ooh, nice. Okay, the instrumental is awesome. It's getting old. I wish I could sing along, but I have no idea where the song goes. She's also like WandaVision. She's in the TV. I hope she's aware of that. I just got it. She's Wanda and then you have Eurovision. So it's like Victoria Vision. Got it. 
So what do I think about the song? I do feel that Bulgaria took again the same strategy. They didn't want to go too far away from what they did last year again because they were seen as one of the favorite countries to win. I'm not really sure how the selection of the song happened. Please guys, if you know, let me know in the comments. Like, was it just as the number of views on YouTube or was it like a different system of voting? Did people even vote on it? I will be honest, I do think that that one song that I heard, which was the only song that I heard, Ugly Cry, I think was a little bit better. I mean, this one is not bad. I really like the melody and the softness of it and the whole sweetness. But I'm also more into songs that go a little bit deep deeper on emotional level than that. And I feel like Ugly Cry kind of offered that. But also, also, not even Ugly Cry was not at the level of tears getting sober. I mean, that story was like a really sad, deep story. This time, as my grandma used to say, I'm not sure if the soup when you heat it back again is just as tasty as it was the first time. Personally, I do like it, but I also think the fandom in general will not enjoy it as much. I mean, even on tears getting sober some people did not like it called it boring i did not think it was boring whatsoever but now if they do the exact same thing on top of what was already considered boring might not be seen as well personally i can't wait to hear her live on stage i just wanted to see that last year too i was very curious how everything is gonna work if she's gonna recreate that part from the video so i am pissed too that 2020 got cancelled what do you guys think do you like this song please don't forget to let me know in the comments how the selection happened thank you so much for watching Watching, please leave a like, subscribe, share, stay safe, and I'll see you in a future video. Bye guys!